Justin Guarini is an American singer, musician, actor, host and producer, who in 2002 was the runner-up on the first season of American Idol. Early Life Guarini was born in Columbus, Georgia. His father, Eldrin Bell, is African-American, and is a former Atlanta, Georgia, chief of police, and former chairperson of Clayton County Commission. His mother, Kathy Papino Guarini, is Italian-American, and was a journalist for WTVMTV in Columbus, and later for CNN. Guarini was primarily raised by his mother and stepfather, physicist Jerry Guarini, in Philadelphia's suburb of Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Career Beginnings Guarini's musical experience started at age four when he was accepted by the Atlanta Boy Choir. After moving to Pennsylvania in 1985, he joined the Archdiocese of Philadelphia Boys Choir. Throughout his school years Guarini sang in school choirs, and from 1996 to 2000 was the lead soloist in an award-winning a cappella group named The Midnight Voices. The group released an independent album in 1999 with proceeds benefiting a music scholarship fund at Guarini's alma mater, Central Bucks High School East in Buckingham, Pennsylvania. He was a director, performer at the Riverside Haunted Woods in Bridgeton, Pennsylvania in 2001. His high school and college theater credits include the lead roles in The Mystery of Edwin Drood, The Little Prince, The Pirates of Penzance, the Taming of the Shrew, and Once on this Island. In addition to singing and stage performing, Guarini plays the piano, guitar, and banjo. After studying vocal performance and theatre studies at the University of the Arts in Philadelphia, Guarini later moved to New York City where he attended the School for Film and Television. He worked in New York nightclubs and auditioned for New York theatre before successfully auditioning for American Idol in April 2002. Shortly after being chosen for American Idol, he was offered a role in the Broadway production of The Lion King. Guarini wrote about his decision between the two offers in his exclusive 2008 blog for the television site, Fancast, stating, I had attended master classes, I learned Zulu and Sotho phrases, as well as the music from the show. It was a dream almost come true at the time. But, now I knew I was onto something, and I wasn't letting go. I politely declined the offer of a role. He was also considering a contract offer from an independent record label. But the show's rules prohibited participants from having existing record contracts. American Idol Idol judge Simon Cowell praised Guarini's performance in the show's first season, at one early audition telling him, Justin, you know, occasionally you're very privileged when you do a competition like this to hear somebody undiscovered who has a voice like yours. With Guarini ultimately becoming the runner-up to winner Kelly Clarkson in September 2002. Soon after, Guarini signed with American Idol's 19 management and secured a record deal with RCA. Prior to the American Idol tour, he was the only contestant asked to appear on The Oprah Winfrey Show, on which Oprah Winfrey told him, Justin, you have it. Reviews during the American Idol tour describing Guarini as a revelation, and easily the best performer. American Idol Performances 2003-4 Justin Guarini His self-titled album, Justin Guarini, debuted in June 2003, coinciding with the single releases of the current second season American Idol Top 2 finalists and the movie From Justin to Kelly, in which Guarini co-starred with Kelly Clarkson. The film was critically panned, while the album sold 146,000 copies. In December 2003 Guarini was dropped from RCA Records. Guarini had a role in the 2004 pre-Broadway New York stage and film Powerhouse Theatre Workshop presentation of the musical Good Vibrations at Vassar College. His performance landed Guarini an offer to continue the role in the original Broadway production, which he eventually declined. 
2005-07. Stranger Things Have Happened Guarini co-produced his second album Stranger Things Have Happened, independently released in December 2005 through his own production company, Justice Entertainment, Ltd. The album of reinvented jazz standards was described by all music as a successful reinvention. Where his natural skills shine, the Philadelphia Inquirer said that Guarini displays an agile, attractive voice with good phrasing. Supported by a sophisticated and funky backing ensemble, Guarini wrote, co-arranged and recorded a benefit song released with H.H. Gayuna Silo, and a song for the documentary series Project Everlasting, in August 2006 and featured on the Today Show. The title track from his album Stranger Things Have Happened was also used in the documentary. From 2007 to 2011, TV Guide Network signed Guarini as permanent co-host for Idol Rap and Idol Tonight. On-air duties with the network expanded to include guest hosting, appearances on other TV Guide Network shows, hosting movie premiere specials and serving as a member of TV Guide Network's awards show team with on-air coverage of awards shows such as the Grammy Awards and Emmy Awards. 2008-9, Revolve in May 2008, Guarini released an acoustic EP titled Revolve comprising three songs co-written and co-produced with Sean Ingram. Versions of the songs are planned to be included on a future solo album. While stepping out to support the opening of the American Idol experience at Disney's Hollywood Studios in February 2009, Guarini confirmed his impending marriage to his fiancée, Raina Capadissa. In an exclusive pictorial of the wedding, people reported that the couple married on September 26, 2009, 2010-15. Acting and hosting Guarini's Broadway debut was as Carlos in the 2010 original Broadway adaptation of Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown. Guarini played the part of Will in Green Day's rock musical American Idiot performing March 1, 2011 through the show's closing night, April 24, 2011. On April 26, 2011, his first child with Capadissa, William Necobel Guarini was born. His second child, Asher, was born on February 25, 2013. From 2013-2014, he played Paris, in the non-musical Broadway modern production of William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. He joined the Broadway production of Wicked, in the role of Fiero from February 25 to December 14, 2014. His other stage work includes lead roles in regional reproductions of Rent, Chicago, Company, Paint Your Wagon, and original productions such as Ghost Brothers of Darkland County and It's a Wonderful Life, a live radio play with Guarini voicing George Bailey. He's acted in independent film projects such as the drama action film Fast Girl, The Unknown, Frankie the Squirrel, Mafioso 2, The Sun, and the short film Tilt a World for the Dances with Films Festival. Guarini participates in equity stage readings such as The Awakening of Angel de Luna, hosts an, or performs for various Broadway, stage-related benefits, and other industry-related events including Broadway on the Hudson, the Times Square Tony Awards simulcast in 2014 and 2015, adding executive producer duties in 2015. He was also an executive producer for the 2015 revival of the musical Sideshow. In 2015, Guarini starred in a new ad campaign for Diet Dr. Pepper as an alter ego named Lil Sweet in the commercials. Guarini has been a recurring commentator for such shows, networks as The Today Show, MSNBC, Fox News Channel, Style Channel, Comcast and Larry King Live, discography, albums, studio albums, other contributions, Foreign Shores by David Hughes 2009, The Awakening of Angel de Luna 2009, I Could Use a Drink by Drew Gasparini 2012, Where the Sky Ends, Music by Michael Mott by Michael Mott 2014, Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown 2011, 
Paint Your Wagon 2014, EPs Revolve, Songs Did You Know That I Know Your Journey, Everlasting for Documentary Project Everlasting, What You Won't Do for Love for Drive Time Reflections, Filmography, Films Theatre Rolls Good Vibrations as Yan, The Awakening of Angel De Luna as Fred, Women on the Verge of a Nervous Breakdown as Carlos, American Idiot as Will, Rent as Roger Davis, Chicago as Billy Flynn, Ghost Brothers of Darkland County as Drake McCandless, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dream Coat as Joseph, It's a Wonderful Life, a live radio play as Jake, Romeo and Juliet as Paris, Wicked as Fio, Paint Your Wagon as Julio, Company as Bobby, Moonshine, That He Haw Musical,